start in just a second. We've uh, had a technical glitch as far as getting something for the audience to review, so my apologies for keeping everyone waiting just for a second. Once again, I apologize to the audience for the delay. We are um, having a substitute bill that has um, that we're going to discuss at great length. We want to make sure everybody has a copy that they can review as we're discussing it. So I apologize for the delay. That's right. Energy supplement too quick. standing discussion here in the halls of the General Assembly in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Um, today, Senator Lewis brings to us a substitute bill um, that I believe is a consensus agreement among most, if not all, parties. Um, so I'd like to begin with Senator Lewis today to explain his bill, and um, then we will maybe take, I, I'll probably take comments uh, on Senator Lewis's bill, and then maybe do something a little out of the norm and speak to the other patrons to see if they're interested in joining hands with this bill or whether they would like to have their bills heard independently. Senator Lewis. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I guess we need to get the, is this, is this substitute. I move us? this substitute be adopted. All right, and I second. Second. All in favor of adopting the substitute say aye. 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 All opposed? I'm not that now. Oh, you're not, so you're sitting up here? Yeah. Well, welcome. You hang Don't out with us there. <laughs> He's just an interested citizen. He's just an <laughs> All right. Well, then. And also, Mr. Chairman, I understand there is the uh, there is a necessary amendment that needs to be made to this bill. Okay. Right, Mr. Barry. Oh, it's on there. Okay, it's, it's on there. Okay, never mind. Okay. okay. Efficiency in action. Senator Lewis, will explain right. that as we go along as well. Senator Lewis. All right, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the committee, sir, this is my sir. 17th General Assembly yeah. session. And every year, for 17 years, we have talked about the most important fish in the sea, the Menhaden. And so this year, hopefully, we have some resolution on this long-standing and oftentimes very contentious issue. Uh, Senate Bill 791 transfers the management of this fishery from the Virginia General Assembly over to the Virginia Marine Resources Commission. 
which is a long sought fundamental step uh, in the regulation of, of the Menhaden fishery. Um, it, obviously, as you know, our current situation is the ASMFC uh, has ruled we are out of compliance and the uh, Commerce Department has imposed a moratorium which takes place in June. So what we've done with this bill is transfer the regulatory authority over to the Commission. The Commission does have some guardrails. The Commission shall only adopt regulation for the map for the Menhaden fishery between October 1 and December 31st unless there is some emergency situation which requires action outside of those date parameters. Uh, the Commission will also establish a Menhaden Management Advisory Committee. And if you look on page uh, 9 of the substitute, lines 225, it gives you the membership uh, of that committee. We're trying to get all the stakeholders at the table uh, to so advise the Commissioner and the, co and the Commission on the regulation of the Menhaden fishery. Uh, any regulation of the management of the Menhaden shall be subject to judicial review in accordance with existing code. Uh, and also, Mr. Chairman, the emergency clause is to allow uh, allow action to take place uh, immediately upon uh, signing by the governor so that we can avoid uh, continue, continuing to be out of compliance and avoid the moratorium, which is scheduled to go into place in June. That, Mr. Chairman, is the bill, and I believe there's peace in the valley, as we say around here, and uh, that's our bill. Thank you, Senator Lewis. So at this point, we'll take comments um, from a broad section of those impacted and a part of this compromise. We will start with the administration, Mr. Secretary. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, thank you uh, for having me today. Um, Senator Lewis, thank you for carrying this bill. Um, the Governor Northam obviously supports this legislation. He appreciates all the efforts of Omega Protein, its workers, the conservation community, the bait fishery, uh, and others who have been involved in, uh, in helping introduce this compromise. Hope you do that. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. On behalf of Omega Protein, Good morning, my name is Brett Schultz, I'm the CEO of Omega Protein. I appreciate the, the opportunity to make comments. Uh, being in compliance with the ASMFC guidelines as well as avoiding moratorium is extremely important to the company as well as uh, being in the best interest, obviously, of all the stakeholders. Uh, we very much appreciate uh, the administration of stakeholders who've taken a lot of time over the last few weeks to understand our business and how we could be impacted and we very much look forward to working with uh, Commissioner Lova and uh, the Thank you, sir. On behalf of the bait fisheries. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, my name is DJ Erskine. I work for two bait companies uh, in the Northern Atlantic. Again, we appreciate uh, all stakeholders coming together for this compromise. Uh, we've had bait fish for crabbers as well as uh, grind and hate for the sport fishing industry for chunk rod. And uh, it's important that we're able to fish in the bay as well as we catch 25% of our quota inside Chesapeake Bay. We appreciate all the efforts. Thank you. Thank you, sir. On behalf of Labor? Yes, Mr. Chairman and members of the subcommittee, I'm Jules Crossbase with the Virginia AFL-CIO. And let me just commend everyone. As the Senator said, talking about working on this for years and years and years, I've always said I, I know more about these Manhattan fish than uh, a lot of other stuff. It's, I know more about a fish that I can't even eat. Uh, so, but anyway, I really just want to commend the administration uh, and the company and uh, the environmental uh, organizations and labor on um, coming to this agreement finally. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Um, on behalf of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and the associations in, of interest. Thank you, uh, Chairman. Uh, Chris Moore, Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Uh, thank you for holding this hearing this morning. I want to thank the administration for their work and bringing all the stakeholders together to deal with this issue. This is obviously something we wanted to see for a long time. Uh, thank you for all the senators who have kept this issue alive for the years. Uh, we feel like we've really come to a good outcome, and thank you for all your work on this, and we look forward to passing this legislation. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the recreational sport fisher, men and women. Mr. Chairman, good morning, committee members. Um, my name is Steve Atkinson, I'm with the Virginia Saltwater Sports Fishing Association. We've been working on this, as you know, for many years, and we strongly support this legislation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Did I miss anyone that would like to speak to the bill? We'll, uh, I'll get to some other patrons in just a second. If, uh, anybody from the audience? Is anyone? Yes, sir. Mr. Bob Pine, City of Virginia Beach. We greatly appreciate all the efforts going into this. We've had a legislative package for about five years now, so we uh, greatly appreciate all the work that's been done. Thank you, sir. Is in, anyone out? Yes, sir. Jamie? Um, good morning, Mr. Chairman. Members of the My name is Jamie Bronco, James River Association. Just want to echo and say we appreciate the level of work that's gone into this. Thank you, sir. Yes, 
so another A. Yes, sir. Thank you for uh, having us here today. My name is Brent Hunter. I'm a friend with Rap Camp, and we support this bill. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone opposed to this long sought compromise? <laughs> okay, so now in a little bit out of the norm, Senator Cosgrove, you have Senate Bill 194 and 357. Would you be inclined to sign on as chief co-patron and have your bills pass by, or would you like to have them heard independently, sir? Uh, no. Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll be glad to have my bills rolled in, but I would, I do have a couple of questions. Though. Yes, sir. Okay. Senator Cosgrove. Uh, first off, and I was talking to Senator Lewis. I want to be assured that in this language, and I'd like to hear from Secretary Bowman, okay. um, are the caps going to be enforced? That's what drove this all here. This sure. wasn't, a, okay, let's all get together and love everybody this year. It's, you can't fish, so you better do something. That's why everybody's here today. Yes, sir. So I would like to from, if, with your concurrence, I can get Mr. Bowman. And I would refer you to lines 210 and 211. Commissioner Bowman. Mr. Chairman, good morning. Speaking to the, uh, the delegate's question, what this does in order not to delegate. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Senator. You made him a secretary. So <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you promoted me to secretary. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. In all due respect, uh, what this does in providing uh, the authority to manage this fishery, uh, sending it to the MRC, it also allows us the law enforcement authority to take care of uh, any non-compliance issues. At the present time, the way that it's set up, if this were to go into a non-compliance matter or into a moratorium and the company were to fish, it would be turned over to U.S. Marshals and would handle at the federal level. What this does is it pushes it down to allow the Virginia Marine Police now to uh, enforce the caps as they are put in place. I think. So the Costco? And with that assurance, I would love to have my bills rolled in. Three again, that's a better way to do it. My so I will move that Senate Bill 194 be rolled under Senate Lewis's number... 791 and, Mr. and, Mr. and Senator Cosgrove you made the chief co-patron. Yeah, thank you. I've been carrying this bill for years and years. You've done a mountain of work yes. on this, sir. You deserve great credit and, and at, at the least deserve to be chief co-patron. <laughs> Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Senator McClellan says aye. All right, Senator, I'll take a motion. I will move the Senate Bill 357 by Senator Cosgrove be rolled into Senate Bill 791 and he of course, it's Chief Co-Patron. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. And Sen Senator McClellan is aye. Uh, Senator Deestep, you have Senate Bill 157 and Senate Bill 158. Would you like for them to be rolled into Senator Lewis, or would you like for them to be heard independently, sir? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm happy to have them rolled in with uh, uh, one quick recommendation that we move the committee members from 12 to 13 and add somebody out of either the Virginia Beach Resort Advisory Commission or the Shore Drive Commission. Again, the reason for that is we're the ones who get the calls every time there's an issue, and it washes up on the shores of my district. Understood. And we have a huge issue with that. So we, we prefer to have somebody on that to go up to 13, if that would be a friendly amendment. Well, uh, if you would like to move one of your bills forward so that you can propose it or continue that discussion, I'd be happy to do so, sir. At this point, I'm not touching this compromise with a 10-foot pole. So I don't want to change a Second. period, a comma, or an apostrophe. But I am, but sir, I, I am willing to have you sit right up here and make your case for that because I understand the precarious position that you and your constituents are in. Yeah, because if there's an issue when something washes ashore, we're the ones who get the calls, we're the ones who suffer, we're the ones who our business owners have to pay employees to go clean it up. And there's never been assistance from anyone other than the hotels, the shore drive community coalition, or the Resort Advisory Commission raising pain about this and saying we have an issue. Senator Lewis, uh, let me just make an observation about that, and I understand exactly what Senator DeStep is saying. I get calls, too, on the western shore uh, of the eastern shore when something happens. But this is about regulation, and they're going to continue to be spills. Uh, that's just the nature of the fishery. And it's I don't know that adding somebody on the regulatory advisory <laughs> panel is going to make that a better situation either way. That's just an observation. So. Thank you, Senator Lewis. Senator Deestep, um, further comments? I'm happy to roll the first two bills in. I'll address the third bill with penalties uh, afterwards. Um, and then I'll just bring a new bill on this next year. Fair enough, sir. Um, so you, so 
I move that Senate Bill 157 be rolled into Senate Bill 791. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, and Senator D. Steph will be made a chief code page. I move that Senate Bill 158 be rolled into Senate Bill 791. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Senator McClellan's aye on all these uh, by proxy. And Senator D. Steph, of course, is chief code page. You would like Senate Bill 222 to be um, held and heard independently? Heard independently. Thank you, sir. Senator Hashmi, how are you, man? You have Senate Bill 402. Would you like to roll your bill and Senator Lewis and sign on the compromise? Would you like your bill to be heard independently, Matt? I want to thank Senator Lewis for all of his hard work and bringing all the stakeholders together to reach this agreement, and I'd be happy to have my bill rolled. Thank you, ma'am. Let the record show Senator Hashmi showed up in Richmond and we solved the problem. <laughs> um, we have a few other things we'd like to focus on as well, man. Sen um, I move that Senate Bill 402 be rolled into Senate Bill 791, Second. and Senator Hashmi will be a chief co-patron. All in favor say aye. 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 Senator McClellan is aye. All right. Um, Senator Lewis, would you like to wrap up with this really impressive work? Yeah, just really quick observation <coughs> on a fundamental level, and, and you know, we've got a lot of policy issues that we tried to address by shifting the regulatory authority over, but for me, and the reason I changed my position on this about 10 or 12 years ago was really, fundamentally, it's an issue of public trust in, in how we regulate the fishery. And I think as long as we were doing it here in the General Assembly, as long as it was the only fishery that we regulated, there was just not going to be any buy-in or trust uh, into the regulatory decisions that we made or that came about from that process. And so putting it over with the VMRC, which regulates every other fishery, uh, and has the, the uh, capability and the knowledge to do so effectively, I think is just going to do a world of good uh, for, again, people are probably going to have continue to have disagreements with, with the regulations or with the positions that we take or with the ASMFC positions, but at the same time, it, it, it's a much better process because of this transfer. And I appreciate everybody's coming to the table and working out this compromise after all these many years. Thank you, Senator Lewis. And I'll also say as the legislative representative to the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission. I've spent many a night trying to explain to my brethren up and down the East Coast what's really going on around here. Um, one thing I will point out to you that I think is of particular interest to them is on line 212, it being subject to judicial review, and the legislature um, is hands off with VMRC taking control with the commissioner and his team. So I would like to thank all parties for coming together. I know this has been a long road and a tough road, but thank each and every one of you for sitting down and trying to figure out a direction for this to go. I hope we can continue to work together in the same vein uh, on a go forward. And so with that, I will move to report Senate Bill 791. Second. All in favor of passage of Senate Bill 791, say aye. 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 Jennifer aye. McClellan is aye. Senator Cosgrove will soon be an official aye. <laughs> All right. So, do we am I good or are we rolling too much? All right. Senator D. Steph, Senate Bill 222. So, on Senate Bill 222, um, this is a result of one of the issues we've had, which is a penalty. We do have a line amendment on this. Um, Fair. Uh, Mr. Chair, it's three line amendments. Uh, the first one is on line 42, uh, strike the phrase guilty of a class. Uh, then further down on that line, after the word A, uh, strike six felony, so that uh, we can insert the phrase subject to a civil penalty not to exceed $20,000 per violation. So the whole thing would read, a uh, person violating this provision is uh, is subject to a civil penalty not to exceed $20,000 per violation. And then the last line amendment would be to strike the uh, prison's statement from 43 to 46. Senator D. Steph, uh, I will move to adopt two amendments. Second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Amendments before. So what we're trying to do here is, uh, as a class one misdemeanor today, we have thought about a class six felony, and you know, it's going to be very difficult for a judge to enforce a class six penalty. Uh, class six felony. As a class um, one misdemeanor. These some folks have our time here, sir. Sorry. Have a seat. Use mine. Sure. As a uh, class class one misdemeanor, the fine on this doesn't cover the fuel it would take to push it offshore. Um, so we wanted to change that. And, and to be honest with you, I think that this needs to. Um, if the limits are being overfished, we really truly need to make sure that it's done right. And the crime with the penalty here should be something that's uh, reasonable and somewhat of a deterrent. 
2500 $5,000, truly that's not a deterrent when you look at eight pros going out there with the nets and doing what they do. Yes, so we think that a more reasonable penalty would be $20,000 for occurrence. Okay. Um, questions from the committee? Anyone here speak in favor of Senator DeStep's bill? Anyone here opposed? Yes, sir. In situations such as this, what we do is we monitor closely the quota, uh, coming to uh, determining how much overage, if there is overage, underage, things like that. And then we have the authority at the commission level to assess whatever we deem appropriate. It also gives us the opportunity to work with uh, Omega and the other entities involved to try to ensure that, from an educational perspective, they know ahead of time that they're not exceeding the quota, which we put up before. Yes, but, sir. Uh, we do believe that we have to manage the tool to our city. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Anyone else opposed to Senator D. Steph's bill? Uh, yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chair. My name is Ken Pink. I'm a vice president of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union representing the workers at Omega Protein, and we oppose this bill. Yes, sir. Thank you for being here, sir. Anyone else care to speak on this bill? Senator D. Steph, final word? Uh, well, heck, I mean, we can just leave the law the way it is then, and we'll leave it a criminal penalty as a class one misdemeanor. Understood. Um, so I'll move to move. pass by uh, Senator D. Steph's bill 222. Uh, all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 General, Senator McClellan is aye. And Senator D. Steph will continue to take a look at this, as I know you will. Um, Absolutely. This, right now, we're just we're in a good spot. So. Um, before everyone goes, I have failed miserably to suggest that Senator Stewart, who could not be here this morning, has been an integral part of this effort for a super long time. Absolutely. He has worked above board of, at all times. He has worked publicly. He has worked privately. He has worked tirelessly to be a part of this compromise. He is, he is sorry he could not attend here today, but he has Senate Bill 1054 that we will absolutely roll into Senate Bill 791 and make him a chief co-patron due to all his hard work. He really got it across the finish line. So <coughs> he deserves a lot of credit for that. That he does. And I will move that. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Senator aye. Is aye. Does anyone else want to speak to this world? Maybe not. Have conversations again soon. Thank you all for being here. Thank you very much.